What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing out there? Hope you guys are all doing well. This is Regan and welcome back again to our channel. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox another figure, a new release figure of Hot Toys of course. And this is none other than the Hellboy right here. And this is MMS 527 and a 1-6 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you guys are new here, first time, if you have extra time guys, come on guys. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well if you want to get notified once I release a new figure, especially Hot Toys or new video, something like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So there you go. So I just picked up this one earlier and I'm excited to share with you guys. So of course, first things first, let's remove from the plastic. This one, the box is quite heavy guys, just to let you know. Damn, okay. So of course, you can see right there, that beautiful art box. It looks like a shoe box. Yeah, well, something like that. Yeah, so this is the art box of this Hellboy. Yeah, he's on fire compare that to this one so yeah good thing that you know hot toys released this one although this one is a different version but at least i don't need to buy those uh like old uh version which is a bit expensive now right? and it's hard to find right uh yeah so that's the box right there of course the warnings and their shops here in hong kong okay so let's open this one there you go let me show you guys bam Yes, so that's how it looks like. Okay, nice. So the creative team. Yeah, there you go. That's how it looks like. Hot Toys creative team right there. Okay, so right here. Wait, let me. All right, so I changed my lens so you guys could see it closely or the close up details of this figure. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this one. The first packaging right here. This is the accessories. Let me open it first. There you go, those fires. Okay, so um, accessories. So this one comes with that five different uh, fire effect right there. So we're gonna check that out later uh, where we're going to put those. So this one right here, a different shape. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Okay, and then this one right here. Okay. Right there of course a very clean paint job and a details I would say right here so this one is rounded one it looks like a uh, like you can put on the head of the Hellboy right looks like a crown crown fire yes and then right here he is a uh, horn so right here is the horn of Hellboy, the long one, very long horn. I would say uh, hmm, the details uh, looks really good and uh, yeah, the paint job looks clean I would say, right, what do you guys think, right there, of course some weathering effects right there, okay. And then next up, wait, let me. Right, so this is the second packaging right here, guys. So um, gonna check this one first here. So next up is this weapons. So yeah, so he has two guns. Um, I'm not sure how you're going to call those guns. Okay, I'm gonna check that out later. And then um, this one, I think that yeah, this one looks like a bracelet. So he has his bracelet, which is. It has some cross, a brown color, something like that, or bronze, looks like a bronze. Same to this one, right here, something like chain, chain, uh, chain cross, uh, and then with some details, very nice details. And then this one right here, uh, hmm, 
not sure looks like some buttons uh to uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure what is that and then this one right here is the what is this so i'm not sure what is this guy so later i'm gonna show you guys where you're going to put this one so at least just showing you guys uh those details first okay very nice details and paint job of course okay nice this extra interchangeable hands uh, it has um six uh no no five pieces extra so this one is holding the weapon probably like the sword red color very clean paint job right there this one is the fist gesture and the two other two this one is the open hand yeah, wide open hands and then this one right here I think this one's holding the gun gesture and then this one right here is that uh, with that extra hmm, something like a bandage right a bandage and uh, with some rosary oh wait is it rosary yeah it looks like a rosary yeah around that uh, hand nice very nice details Wow okay and the next up is that two pieces extra um stone hand let's say stone hand right so this one is the face gesture of that stone arm and then right here too holding that again probably the sword right very nice details and weathering effects wow look at that nice amazing okay and a something like a mix of red red orange color yeah okay and then right here is the extra weapon which is the sword his sword wow very nice details guys look at that amazing a brass color something like that and a silver something like a silver gray paint on this sword right there okay and then next up right here is the, ooh, another sword guys wow look at that this one is with that uh, with those fire effect look at that that is really really cool guys amazing nice it's quite heavy guys probably like because of like uh, that plastic that they use i mean the material that they use for those fire effect is really solid so that's why of course you cannot really see the sword inside so it's not obvious you, because uh, I'm sure like supposed to be something like this and then with the fire effect right so at least they should add that that uh, which is that extra color or like I mean, that, that sword inside right I mean that's gonna be you know really cool if they add that more as in more realistic I would say yeah what do you think I mean like I'm just saying guys so but then this one looks really cool guys yeah nice 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 amazing same size of course guys there you go ah this one is longer nice amazing okay and of course i forgot to tell you guys the instruction sheet right here okay hellboy and then let's get the figure wow he is quite heavy guys Ooh, very solid guys i would say yeah he's quite heavy guys nice so I hope I didn't forget uh, something. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm gonna remove the plastic. Wow. Look at the details. Nice, amazing. So yeah, um, somehow uh, from my screen, he looks uh, like more vibrant. But I would say uh, in the actual look of this figure, he is more a bit, uh, light red yeah something like that but again uh, looks it looks natural natural red skin tone yeah but of course in my in my screen uh, somehow you will notice that it looks like a dark red something like a uh, pure red and then the texture you could really feel the uh, rubber material so yeah that rubber texture which is really really good guys so be careful because meaning that kind of material it's so easy to you know peel off 
right? Especially if you're going to put the, I mean, his jacket, his coat, right? So let me uh, remove those plastic first. Wow, look at that details, nice. Look at the waist, nice. Okay, and then the hand right here. So there you go, guys. So I remove all the plastics. So that's how it looks like. Uh, this one, yeah, soft. Okay, very nice. Look at that. Okay, but this one looks, of course, yeah, this is a different movie. Uh, I think a different actor too, right? Yeah, okay, and of course, that one is a different version, so totally different from the original film of Hellboy, I think. It's the tail, and then this one, he looks a little bit fat here. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. More bulky, yeah, that, not fat, guys, sorry. More bulky. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this one here first. Then, let's get the second packaging right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one right here. Another fire effect but it looks like more of like electric something like that right like fire electric effects yeah it's a little bit long and uh next up is the base of course the base right here a pure red color uh print right there i mean like uh with some like it looks like a lava effect right yeah something like that and then yeah the nameplate hellboy and then of course the holder let's try to put this one right here looks like a a ah, two side hmm. and then last here is that um his coat yeah a green color yeah and with some buttons right there and then inside oh the tank top right there his martial shirt and then with that uh What's this? Yeah, Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. Very nice print, yeah. Okay, and anyway, with some distress look right there. Okay, so, and then inside this, uh, of course, it has some linings. Brown color, satin. Very thin material, guys. I would say this, uh, this coat. Okay, and right there. Or some logo again of that uh, uh, BPRD. Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah, lastly, it has some. Uh, what is this? The backdrop. Yes, backdrop of Hellboy. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's all the stuff that you can get from this Hellboy by Hot Toys. So what we're going to do now is check the articulations and check those accessories attached to the figure and let's play around. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so now let's check the articulation. I'm gonna start off with the head. So right here, this one, of course, slowly uh, move that head because uh, this one has that long hair, a hair sculpt right here. So it's not a rooted hair so be careful on moving it because again the texture of the skin the body that they use is rubber something like it's easy i hope it's not you know it's so easy to you know get scratched or peel off so uh hmm. so if i'm going to rotate this one uh probably like around just here yeah, and then look down. Same thing with looking down. Uh, be careful on those. Uh, well, this one is a bit soft. I mean, like you can move those hair. Yeah, so I think it should be okay. But, hmm. I think, yeah, that's the only movement that we can do to the head. So, facing here. I think, yeah, that's the max. Just be careful on the... Uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, should be okay. And then tilting that head to the side. Somehow there's no movement on the neck. Yeah, not much of uh, articulation. I would say on the head. Uh, but we, we can rotate that. We can do some 360. It's just that yeah, you have to be careful on that. Uh, that hair scalp might gonna scratch the body. Yeah, okay. Something like this. But tilt to the side, 
I'm trying to push, but uh, <laughs> somehow, uh, yeah, it's too hard, guys. I mean, it's too stiff. Uh, it's not that I don't want to force it, but it's I can feel I can feel already that it's really stiff. So meaning there's no tilt head, something like this. I think yeah, that's the max for the tilting head. The neck is ah, you can move the neck. I think I I can move forward the head though. See and then move to the back. Yeah, said though. It's very soft. I like the material. Very nice. I like this kind of material. They, I mean, like they should use this to other. Uh, uh, what is this? To other figure. So after that head. So that's the head uh, movement or articulation. So let, let's try that. This this one looks like the hawk figure. Oops. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You could really feel those stop. I think that's the max, guys, because of that. What is this? Uh, this shoulder part right here, the muscles. See? Yeah, that's the max. Are you? Oh, there's one more. One more click. Yeah, one more click up to there, guys. Yeah, I think 90 degrees. I think that's the best uh, or max for the articulation of the arms. And then put it down. See? You could hear that stop. There you go. Up to close yes look at that yeah so that's the closest one to the body okay and then moving to the front Oops. Hmm. so there's no stop on that uh, moving that arm to the front so I think you should have to lift that up first and then move to the front something like that I think uh, yeah see Okay, so that's how it looks like. Just to let you know. Oh. Okay, see, I cannot. I mean, yeah, there's no lift there. Where are those? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So there's no uh, raising the arms to the front. Probably you have to really lift that and then swivel. Not sure. Yeah, something like swivel i think uh, you can do some swivel there but then it's a little bit weird it takes time guys it takes time to uh do some uh poses on the arms okay so i think patience and then try to find that right angle and then to the back to the back is okay i think it's fine see that uh but yeah that uh, moving the arms to the front it looks like it's like um Something like blocking the movement thing. I see. I can even feel any stop there on those joints. Okay. There you go. Okay. So yeah, that's for the shoulder and then the elbows. For sure, the elbows are good. Hmm. I think that's a max. One, two, three. Up to three. Yeah, that's the max, guys, for the elbows movement. Look at that. Yeah, that's the max. I mean, which is. Yeah, that's the max, guys. I mean, yeah. I cannot move the arms anymore up to only up to there. Probably like 45 degrees, right? I mean, like 90 degrees. And then put it back. Yes, okay, so that's the max for those uh, arms articulation. Now let's move on. Let's try the upper body. This one right here, the waist part. So, crunch in. This one right here is, it looks like, um, you see that, uh, you see? Uh, <laughs> there's some space underneath, like that. Uh, can, can you guys see that? Like uh, the whole body, this whole upper body is actually separate, really separated from the the, um, the legs from the waist. So that's why, you see, uh, it looks like, yeah, something like this. Something like the Thanos, Thanos uh, figure, right? And the uh, hawk figure, something like that. So, yeah. So that's the, right? So, yeah. Um, if I'm going to tilt to the side, it's just gonna follow the movement. Meaning, 
um, there's no really articulation in the middle right here well there's some space oh hmm. Ooh, there's some space right here wow that is really cool so meaning we can do yeah we can do a little bit of crunch in there guys in here I think only one only one uh, click yeah one movement for that crunch in and then the rest is that underneath something like this see yeah see and then arch yeah also putting back that uh, click again to the arch one more oh one more arch hmm. yeah something like this okay so that's the waist part and of course yeah you can easily twist that because again that uh, you know really separated from the uh, lower body so it's very easy to rotate that it's just that the crunch in is not much and then it looks really weird once you move too much that upper body okay and then now so that's the leg part i mean that's the waist part so now the leg part looks smooth and then the pants it's a little bit low waist looks baggy Ooh, too much like hyper extension uh wait let me try to yeah, i think 90 degrees guys 90 degrees it's just that this one looks really weird once you stretch it too much right same on the other side right there same but again it looks weird so it's it doesn't look like proportion I'm not sure if it's I forgot already that movie if I'm not sure if if it's really like this something like uh, the upper body is too big you know if you're going to match it to the legs something like yeah not sure huh? looks like but of course the muscles inside of this figure is a little bit big yeah, I'm just saying like uh, the proportion it's not a really good okay and then the knees part right there all the way up there same on the other side yes okay and then of course the tail his tail this one I think it has some uh, wire inside so you can really let's say ah this one ha it has some joints right here for sure but uh yeah if you're going to bend that like this there you go so it has some wires which is really really good yeah okay nice amazing like it looks like a monkey <laughs> yeah and then this one this uh belt utility belt is made out of like hard plastic something like that yeah and uh, with some uh, weathering effects of course and very nice details I think uh, non-detachable so you don't need to detach that uh, well you can move up and down okay and in the holsters the holster of the his pistol right here only one pistol has that holster uh, because he has two right yeah, it has some weathering effects on those pants the dark something like a dark green yeah okay, so yeah something like dark green or black something like that mixed and then the ankle part right here you can swivel the whole leg but uh, not the ankle and then point uh, hmm, so there's no articulation on the legs I mean on the feet okay so there's no articulation on the feet so that's it well, you can do a little bit of like tilt there, but not really that much because it's one full um, hard boots right there. Okay, of course, very nice details, I would say. Yeah. Okay, so, and then this arm right here, this stone arm. Yeah, this one you can rotate. I think. And of course, this one is movable. The hand, the fingers. Uh, you can really bend it but of course not too much you might gonna break it i think so yeah okay so yeah i think that's it for the articulation guys so i'm gonna stand him here then i'm gonna start um those web oh no 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 actually i'm gonna start with this one the muscle shirt or something like a sleeveless uh, shirt or tank top oh i see <laughs> So there's some button on the side uh, at least it's easy for us to you know put this uh, shirt to the body 
right? At least we don't need to slide. Because yeah, yeah, I understand that uh, if you're going to slide it and the material of this uh, body is a little bit rough, so we might gonna have a hard time. So rubber feel, uh, we might gonna have a hard time to, you know, put from the top, right? So at least this one is easier. So what we're going to do is, I think, remove the head cup right there. So there you go. This is how it looks like, guys, when I uh, remove the head. So yeah, this is how it looks like, guys, the head of this figure. So yeah, very soft. Mm, see? So that's why when I try to move the head, it's a little bit stiff. So because of that very thick uh, rubber on the neck, right? And then the underneath of that head, this one. Yeah, okay. So... Mm. Nice, I like this one. And then attach the head. And then right here is that. So there you go. That's how it looks like. So looks like I like this uh, look than showing that. Uh, well, we can really enjoy that uh, muscle too. Uh, I'm just saying like this one looks uh, looks better. Look at that. Nice, right? So this one looks cool then showing the body because it looks because it's doesn't look proportionate so at least this one looks okay now looks better right right there and then uh what's next is let's try to put that um gun right here first i think uh this one okay this one Magnum, something like Magnum, right? Looks like a double, uh, no, 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 not double. Yeah, some, this one is movable, guys. Look at that. Yeah, so movable part and also, no, not this one. Yeah, only that. Okay, and then of course, you're gonna attach it here or you're gonna shoot that uh, on the holsters unless there's some parts of that utility belt that we can uh, hang no it, it doesn't have okay yeah you can see us there's some bullets right here which is really cool right a lot of bullets but of course that one is non-detachable yeah and some details around here and the pouches right which is really cool and then this one the rest the rosary right nice very nice very cool and then you can move nice and then what else this one some chains uh -huh. okay so very nice details on that uh, again as i said on that utility belt okay so now let's try to attach those bracelet so i'm gonna attach this one right here so can you guys see it so that's the details of this bracelet right there and then right here, right? Nice, okay? So let's try to attach it here, right? So right there, so that's how it looks like, but I think you can just use one. Yeah, let me try to just use one. That looks like you can use two. There you go, yes. This one first, guys. So you have to shoot this one first before this one because this one is a little bit tighter, so this one... Uh, should be at the bottom right there mm -hmm. There you go Yeah, nice. So what we're going to do is Try this um, hmm. Yeah, well pistol, but something like a Something like there's some bomb there, right? Something like that uh, Yeah, something like this guys Okay, so this is how it looks like for this gun but um, oh let's see yeah so you see we cannot uh, really close the arms to the body right I mean at least something like this but I'm not sure why yeah that's the max eh? I mean like I cannot really push it I mean like I cannot really feel any like one more click you know see that's how it looks like and then for the hands well yeah it's either this one 
but I want to try this one right here. Wow, okay. So that sword with some flame effects, yeah, okay. But this one looks like a little bit loose, guys. Yeah, see that? There is some like a little bit of like loose parts. I mean, like it's not that really tight. So again, you can do some, uh, you know, mod modification there to make it really tight. Oh, look at that joint. So anyway, I forgot to tell you guys that also it comes with uh, extra joint for this uh, RZA. Uh, because I forgot to mention that this one is, of course, you have to remove this one. So there's no extra for this one. So you have to be careful on this. Mm, there you go. Yeah, something like this. Look at that. Yes. Okay, I'm going to move this one right here. So you guys can see it. Yes, okay, so something like that is really cool. I can move that a little bit close to the body. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so we're almost there. So now these two right here, ah, this one. This one is some, some mobile uh, device, something like a... Uh, uh, communicator yes I think something like that and then there's some uh, small print right there yeah can you guys see that yeah. so I'm gonna attach it here to the body there you go that communicator right here and then next up is yeah this one is the Excalibur yeah Excalibur sword and of course with that flame effect right here okay and then next up is the right here so i'm gonna detach this one and then now we're gonna attach this one right here this one right here okay so yeah that's how it looks like wow look at that right so yeah that's how it looks like guys so it looks amazing i would say yeah okay and then now is the this caliber sword yeah you're gonna attach this one something like this okay so yeah something like this guys i think so okay so that's this one this effect lightning effect is for this excalibur sword okay and then this uh this part right here i think this one is just effect around around the the base something like that i think so and then lastly i think i wanna yeah let me try to attach this uh coat so right there so let me know if i can remove this one this arm oh yeah i can <laughs> wow it's so easy <laughs> like so surprised like wow it's so easy to like grab that but then uh ooh, be careful some factory um like uh, quality something like that so just very minimal the same okay so this is how it looks like guys so, right there damn okay and then we're gonna attach this one mm. Mm, I see there you go so it's so easy to uh, uh, put it back and then uh, mm, right here and mm, there you go okay and then, of course, to get with that arms, uh, that hand, and then try to. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. This one has that. So this Excalibur sword, guys, just to let you know, um, is actually for this specific hand because of that. Uh, what is this? You see that small hole right there? Because you're gonna put this one there so it won't move, and it it's more. Uh, let's just like more stable right there so like this guys there you go you can see that uh, yeah, so I'm gonna push that then so it's not gonna move yeah which is really good wow that is brilliant idea okay so yeah that's how it looks like for this one so this one should be here on this side okay and then right here, um, so this one right here, this crown flame. So I forgot to put this one right here. So this is his ponytail. Yeah, something like this. Okay. 
and then at the same time if you want to use that flame effect right here there you go so from here you can push it that and then you can attach it here there you go okay so it looks like uh, it doesn't have any um, uh, like plastic support at the back like floating without anything at the back so that's why they choose that uh, clear uh, stick yeah which is really really cool yeah see nice that is amazing right looks really cool okay so that's how it looks like from the side okay and then this one i think we could uh, use this one there you go it's kind of weird it's too small <laughs> yeah the jacket guys that's how it looks like and then i think it has some wiring yeah it has some a little bit of yeah it has some a little bit of yeah so it has some wiring uh on the edge of this coat okay so you can do some style pose right there okay so yeah i think that's it guys so i think that's all all right so my overall review for this hellboy i would say it is an amazing figure with those very nice texture of the body the details are amazing the weathering effects are fantastic Hot Toys did a very good job on making this figure, however, I find it a little bit not proportion from the legs. I'm not sure if it's really like that, but overall still an amazing figure, especially those details from the stone arm and utility belt and accessories are really cool. I like that flame Excalibur sword, it doesn't look like the cheap material that they use. However, doing some poses, maybe it's a little bit limited on the articulation or poses, but I think it is what it is, I think it should be okay. And then lastly, the head scalp. I think it looks good, however, I find it lack of details or I mean lack of texture. I cannot really see the accuracy, well, it looks like Hellboy from the 2019 film, but I cannot really feel the likeness from the character. You know what I'm trying to say, something missing the face, maybe, maybe more details and texture, right? Well, at least good thing they released another version of Hellboy. For those who missed the first version, at least we get a chance to own this Hellboy figure. So yeah, I think that's it guys, that's all I could say to this figure. That's my own opinion, so let me know your thoughts too on this one. Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. If you have any question, just comment down there. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't, okay? So thank you for watching, guys. Until then, see you in our next video. Peace. Looking back and seeing all that God has made with his legacy, daddy showed me the whole entire page. The death of me, I will hold it and say Messiah's name. Gonna fire lane, but I also know that time will change. This entire frame is bound to go as far as the